Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Perry. That, that's just something I do whenever I get on the track or anything, but like YouTube commentate whenever. Yeah. So, anyways, let me let me just hop in this uh, YouTube video here. It's a little, little snippet of me playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. One of the most ambitious games of the year, as they say. I, I even waited in the midnight release just to get this game. Like, so serious. So legitly serious I waited for this. I even skipped school. Yeah, I'm such a bad boy. I, I skipped school just to get this game. That's how legit it is. It's so legit. Um... Yeah, so let's talk about the gun I'm using in the commentary. The gun I'm using is what is known as the MTAR. I'm guessing it's like the TAR 21 from Modern Warfare 2. And it seems like they're using a lot of Modern Warfare 2 things, like, uh, Olympic. They really not using anything from Modern Warfare 2, just cold blooded. And I think that's about it. But they added their Black Ops original like white and flag jacket ghost. Uh what else they have? Tactical mask. Yeah. So yeah, the gun I'm using is the MTAR with uh I believe in this video it had three attachments. Yes, it did. It had the select fire, which I will be talking about probably later in the later commentary. But basically, it just switches the burst of any, I believe it works for all types of gun equipped, like shotgun and probably sniper rifles, obviously, or maybe a light machine gun. I'm not really sure. Just only got it for the MTAR, because it's like my primary main gun I use. But, uh, yeah, it just switches it from an automatic fire to a burst fire, and burst is just like a Kamaz, you know, burst. Yeah, um, I have, uh, another attachment called the Target Finder, which you can see is the scope that I've been using in the commentary. It identifies enemies and notifies when the enemy is in the crosshair. It starts to make the sound like beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you probably already know because it probably makes the sound video. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's the sound it makes. Uh, the force grip. Let me talk about this right here. This I have added to my MTAR is like adding kick to it. Since they don't have the uh, proficiency, which I find is kind of stupid and kind of not. Since some of these attachments in the game are just like the ones from Modern Warfare 3 Kirk. It's hard for me to explain, but here, I mean, it's not hard for me to explain, it just sounds complicated. Like, for instance, the stop. It moves faster than Amy. It makes it move faster than Amy. It means like having on Stalker, alright? Fast mag, reload faster, basically like having on sight of hand. Um, let me see. Laser sight, basically like having on steady aim. It is like having the, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, aim. What's that called? Oh, yes, uh, aim bot. It's like having an aim bot, kind of. But not many people use it though. I like it. I don't use it that much either myself. Especially on my MP7 class. Oh, oh another attachment I just remember was uh, Quick Draw. Yes, that attachment I used to have on here, but the that attachment is very much like a perk from Modern Warfare 3, the quick draw perk, except it's just an attachment. It's basically you put it on the weapon and you aim down shots faster. So, yeah, just like quick draw. But anyways, now I'm talking about my, uh... Score streak is what they call it. They don't call it kill streak anymore because it's based off of scores. No, like Modern Warfare 3 scores, but uh, to go more into depth, it's more based off of scores you get from capturing the flag, destroying equipment, you know, doing multiple things except challenges, I believe. So, yeah, my first one is the care package. Don't even have to talk about that. Obvious. I think they stopped the one that we dropped. Uh, where you drop 
fake care packages. They don't have them anymore, I believe. And the thing I like about care packages is because it goes with my third perk for this class, which is called Engineering. And Engineer is basically you show enemy equipment like Sight Rep or Sit Rep. Sorry, from Monster 3 and delay trigger exploding Stalker Pro, reroll and booby trap care packages for you know half a day. That is just so clutch. It's not even pro. I, I really don't see the point of prestige in this game. What were people talking about? To me, it seems like you don't need to prestige, but I will prestige in later on videos and. Show you how that goes, so you don't proceed in this part. You should probably already proceed before me, because you know, kind of late. Kind of um, second perk I have toughness. Just less points when I get shot at. Even shooting at me. And I put on a hard line, cause I mean, I really didn't have anything besides lightweight blind eye. And blind eye is only good when people get out so of big uh push effect. So chop right through this car. But basically undetected, I'm just undetected by uh, AI control air support. And not many people can get those. So that's why I didn't add that lightweight to move faster. I don't have on dexterity, which is a third perk that uh, allows me to aim faster after spring, so I didn't add extreme conditioning. I just put on hard line because I only have three fresh perks, unfortunately. So yeah. Oops, I totally forgot about the score streak. Now my second streak I have is the dragon fire, which we already know the quadroder remote control uh quadroder with the lightweight machine gun. It's the most clutchest just score streak ever. I mean, you kill people instantly like a chopper gun on a go. It is just clutch, a uh, Rooney. I'm telling you, it's just clutch. Always add this to your kill streak. Never ever make a kill streak without the dragon fire. It picks up so many points, and it's just amazing. Now, I believe the last one I had was a stealth chopper, like I previously talked about. It's like a stealth bomber, except it's a stealth chopper, which is kind of stupid. It doesn't show up on the enemy's map, and it just wipes out their whole team. Now, um, what I have to say about this is, it's kind of overpowered and it's kind of not, because you can still like see and take it out. But once I get to some later levels, I'm probably going to take this out. Maybe I'll swap it for Low Star, which is basically like the Reaper from Modern Warfare 3 on crack, as I was previously told and sent to by other commentators. That is kind of what the low star is, but it is clutch, it is a beast. I have some gameplay of me using it, and uh, I'll be sure to upload it. I'll use all the uh, score streaks so you can actually get the chance to look at some of the different types of stuff and things that Call of Duty Mar I mean Black Ops 2 has the uh, offer to you guys. Like that gun I'm using right now, the uh, War Machine, that thing is terrible, definitely okay, thing that I, I mean, I wouldn't really recommend you to know, but yeah, so that's basically just about it for this um, Call of Duty commentary, I hope you enjoy, I hope you comment, rate, like, and subscribe, I hope you like the way my voice sounds. And I hope you will stick around for later videos. I'm Audi. Oh, 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 If you like it, you should put a ring on it. So you may want to see that he want it. Oh, 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 oh.